not carrying those goddamn things. Right? <laughs> Well, let's have a powwow. So let's, we're going up here where that saddle is to cross the saddle, then we'll cross the river. And then once we get across the river, it's it's on. So let's Sorry, just, let's make sure we, you know, stay hydrated, stay fueled and stay safe and have fun. And the only expectation I have is to work hard. So let's do it. Chilly boys. I cannot wait to take a bath in that. Big old wolf trap. Right on the trail. Wolf track. We're gonna kill one of those. Yeah. Wolf track. All right, so we hiked two miles up the ridge and we're sitting in here at a glassing point um, debating on where to camp. Unfortunately, the snow has us um, trying to figure out basically just what to do. Um, there's not a lot of running water, so we're kind of getting critical to water. I have about two swallows left, so we're just gonna come up and around this and Riley's found us a camp spot here in this saddle um, and we're gonna camp there and hopefully spot some bears because it has been a slow day today so far we have seen zero bears so today far. so we far so far we still got time we still got plenty of time wait here till he gets halfway across so if there's an avalanche we can rescue him Yeah, where in between no. the snow. Yeah, right, right in between the snow, where the snow and the no snow converge in the trees at the top. Where the no snow and the snow converge in the top. Yep. Oh no, sound cubs, dude. There's two or three cubs there. She's walking right out, dude. Right out in the open now. That is awesome, dude. I like look, and I saw her nose. She has a big brown nose. That cub's about to climb that tree. Okay, so we have an update. Um, I got a text from Josh on the inReach. He said, bear down. So they killed one. Now if you look, um, so this main ridge line that comes down, it's probably dark. Um, at the bottom of that is the river that we came up. And they went up about two and a half miles and up i don't know what side but they went up a drainage a little ways and i must have killed a bear he said it's a tanker so we're really excited to see it i don't i mean we're probably two or three days away from getting to him anyways but he said that they're going to break it down and they're going to bring it back to camp and he's going to send me an inreach message whenever he gets back to camp but i bet you it's hours from now so we're pretty pumped about that and uh all we saw tonight on that bench was a sow and cub and then we've been getting our camp set up and we still got we still got about two hours of good light left so and yesterday this was about the best time for glassing so what we're hoping for is to find a boar to make a play on tomorrow so hope for the best it's freezing um, we didn't see anything, but uh, we're gonna go up and glass from camp till it gets dark. Start melting water on the wood stove, and then we'll see you tomorrow.
Oh, our weather report just got better. It's a 10% chance of rain till 4, and then at 6, it's a 40% chance. And at 8 p.m., it's a 50% chance. And then pretty much, yeah, like it's the most chance we get is a 50% chance until um, Tuesday morning. And it goes back down to a 10, so that's good news. Well, we glass for a few hours and kind of decided we've been looking and there's not a lot of green up here yet and there was about 500 to 750 feet below so we decided that and we had we know all we saw up there on that bench was that sow and cubs um, yesterday so we're going to drop elevation where there was more green up and just keep going I think we'll have better luck so a little update from the boys down down at the lower camp it says Josh I killed him I spotted him when I saw him I knew he was too big to pass up old old boy only had three teeth there's a big cinnamon boar we saw yesterday going to try to get Brody to kill he's wanting to take it easy today he's a little sore from their hike they woke up at 10 o'clock it looks like so awesome work from those fellas today Anything's extra today for them. There's a cinnamon boar. That thing should die. Yeah, that's cool. That's way cool. Look at this. Look at that. It looks like they, like this carbon fiber presses into that plastic part. Um, so, I mean, it still works, but if this can gets- Can you tighten? No. Because that clamps only on that part. This clamps right? for the aluminum. That's glue. The glue wire off. Update from Josh. I know of three boars in killable spots. If you don't find some, we will team up. Makes the packing easier. I think we can all tag out in here. We just set up camp. <laughs> and like five minutes after we set up camp, we go glass and I get this. So guess what we're doing? Packing camp and we're going down there three and a half miles. We, we got, yeah, about a three and a yeah. half, four mile jaunt. We're gonna hunt our way down because it's gonna, be dark by the time we get there so we might as well hunt our way down and it's raining oh, so that's just even raining. better but we'll be fine because we got a stove so ticks welcome to tick nation <laughs> Just trying to find more bears to kill. <laughs> you know, no boars, just sows with cubs. Dude, I told you, I was like, we need the camera on me because I'm killing one first day. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh... He was right. Oh my gosh. Oh, did you have pictures? I don't have any oh. of the bear. I had a little video. <clears throat> wow. Dude, that's a tanker. Let me see. I think he'll measure out just over six foot, and I'm guessing 17 to 18 on his Look skull. Look at that. Look at that. No teeth. Yeah. No, he literally see. had. He was old three tooth. tooth. That's so bad. <laughs> yeah. Dude, so the see. back on the inside were down below his gums, and the wow. outside had like an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch. So and so I was scurrying, trying to get the camera back on him while I'm getting my gun on him. I run back to the camera turn it on him, and then as I'm running back, I kick my tripod, my phone falls off, I was like, Wait screw it. What was he doing? He was getting his gun ready too. I, I said, oh, I want you, right I, said you I said, you're um, batting back up for me. Just like and, So, and then um, when, the, when the phone fell, he's all like, get me a range, so I range, and he's 500 like four, line of you sight. You said 475. And, well, and then the corrected range yep. for what you should dial is like 470, yeah. whatever. Hey. No, but it. I, yeah, he was, he got out there, so he went from 430 to 500 yards in about 30 seconds, and uh, I was like, um, I, was, I just, I was like, this is my spot, I gotta kill him here, because he was just got, about to get into cliffs and was gonna be gone, and so I let him, I put it on his nose as he was walking, just pulled the trigger and just smacked him right behind the shoulder, and he just tumbled. What we figured out about bears is you gotta look for them where their diet is, and their oh, diet yeah. consists yeah. of rocks. <laughs> <Rocks>. <laughs> That's true. Dude, they're only in rocks ever. 
very that, little grass. Did he tell you we've seen seven bears on this face right here? Just this close one? Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah. We almost killed one of them on the first night. Me and him were both lined up on it. And we were getting ready to pull the trigger. Um, and then I was like, oh, there's a cub. And yeah. it was yeah. just a big sow. There's a bear um, that we've spotted before. It's moved and it's a little above the snow line um, in some steep crap, but I think that Raiden is probably able to get a shot at it from here. Um, let's see how. You got him? It is. Ooh, okay, no shot. 1071. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with that one, but, yeah. yeah, that's a poke. You could probably Yeehaw. cut some distance. You'd have to get down, cross the river, and then straight up, I think I'll watch them do it. <laughs> but I think our best bet is going to be go down, cross the river, I'd feel, and get on those cliffs right I'd there feel, and shoot yeah, up. Yeah, I'd feel comfortable. It's going to be like a 350-yard shot, I bet, from there. Yeah, that would be a perfect shot. I would shoot that bear. Me too. Let's go shoot it. Woo! River crossing time. eyes on him now. He's get a range. Oh, he's feeding to the right. I got like 390. Okay, we need to move. We might need to move back up. Spotted a bear around 9:30, 10, way down there. So me and Raiden went up here to try to find him, and Josh and Brody stayed low to a spot, and we never could just get the right angle at him. He was just on the other side of the rise that we couldn't see past. No matter what, we went all the way up that ridge, all the way down. Han was like, no, no, I got it. I, and he picked up the um, picked up the tab. And I was like, you know, like, no, like this is expensive. Telling stories like, around the got, fire. Like, it was like, I got about like, Africa eight, of like all 18 places. ounce, 28 ounce. <laughs> oh yeah. Ri or 18 ounce ribeye. And then we had like bone marrow. Well, and like, Me and Josh things, like, having a debate on if the bear meat Dude, is as good all of as a Michelin five star restaurant. And I kind of think it's better. Everyone is up now. And this morning's good. Everybody's feeling good, it sounds like. It's a little chilly. Um, we're just gonna hunt our way up the same drain and see if we can see some more bears. We're gonna kill Big Cinnamon. He's got a death note. It's been hot and we hiked further than we have the whole trip. And there's been no bears and lots of ticks. That's about it. Tough day, have them every once in a while. Makes what, what makes the good days better. Oh, five feet, 10 ticks. 20 feet, 
60-ish ticks. Not fun. We've got some of my bear from the other day going. We decided we wanted to have a bear buffet tonight. It's been pretty dang good. Well, we're packing up. We've decided we've pressured this area out of bears because uh, we killed my bear. Um, we chased one pretty hard that Riley went after that we almost, we kind of made it, had a chance on. We just haven't found any more boars. So we're headed back to the airstrip. There's a bunch of different trails we can go up from there. Um, so we're gonna just try and find new territory, find some new bears. For when he went up the hill. I didn't even adjust it. I just started pulling. <laughs> I'm trying to help, but I feel like I'm going to get hit by a head by a gun. Hundred and ten feet and point three eight. That's steep. We just found us a glassing spot closer to camp. We're pretty close to camp here, and uh, we moved down to camp because we kind of just blew everything out up there where we got Josh's bear. So we packed the bear and all of our camps down to the airstrip, and now we just split off. Raiden and Brody went down the trail, and then me and Josh. Are coming up here to this glass and all. Oh, the tree's looking that way though. Yeah, it's hard to see. The trees are on the hill coming up. It really is hard. But well, you can't. But look, you can see right there on this point. Yeah. yeah. No, not this well, point. we've been up here. It was really windy, turned rainy. Um, did clear up for a bit and we spotted a sow and a cub. So we're probably going to pull down just because we haven't had much success finding bears in the rain. But our plan is to get back up here first thing in the morning um, and just work this whole canyon all the way up, just kind of ridge hop, and hopefully we can find a boar, something to kill. Um, it's been raining since last night, and this morning, uh, Josh and Riley saw sound a cub last night so we're gonna probably pack this um, tarp up and we're gonna go sit on a ridge in the rain and hopefully stay dry and hopefully shoot a bear. I say if we're gonna sit under the tarp we just will sit under the tarp up there rather than here. I don't think so. But if it's gonna downpour on the way there we just as well wait because it's gonna stop for a half hour like it does. It rains for a half hour and then it stops for a half hour. There's a cub up in a tree down there. And the mom's sitting at the bottom. Looks like she's waiting to catch him if he falls down. We get pretty good video of her. And he's he's just up there on a branch just hanging out. He's probably got a great view. And here comes the rain. Mm -hmm. in the snow. Yeah. Well, it's been raining off and on all day today. Last day, last full day. Um, we've seen that sow and the cubs again. That's all, so we're pretty much rained out. We can't even see anything now. So we're heading back. I'm happy with the hunt, but I'm not satisfied because I didn't get one. But I am very happy that our group got one, thanks to Josh. So we're not out of here empty handed, so that's, that's a plus for sure. But I'm just glad, I'm glad to do this hunt. This hunt meant a lot to me, putting it on, and it's kind of rare to get this many dudes together to go on an adventure like this, so I'm thankful for it. So, I'm just, I'm thankful for all these guys for being badass and, and kicking this mountain's butt, because it's tough in here, so we had fun.